Today we're going to be testing the deck street lights with the optics out of place. I've removed all the shades for cleaning. They're inside right now drying off. So I figured it would be interesting to turn all the lights on and see what they look like without the optical lenses in place. So this is what they look like during the daytime. And then we'll come back at night and turn them on and see what the difference is. I suspect that we're going to find a lot more light gets thrown out to the sides. So we might find that the trees are more illuminated and that more light comes into the house through the windows. I wouldn't expect the light on the ground to change too much because the lenses are open on the bottom anyways. Uh, but we'll see. We might also find that there's a, a significant glare when it's like this because those shades do make the light considerably softer to the eyes. You know, it shields the, the direct tube from the eyes. So like this it'll be more like a stupid DEL fixture with no optics and just throwing light everywhere and causing all sorts of glare. Nightfall is upon us. Here's a look at what it looks like in the dark. Now first off a tremendous increase in light shining in the house. It's illuminating all the rooms considerably. I suspect even the bedroom is probably fairly well lit up also. Light coming in the bedroom. Normally, all this light is dif uh, diffused by the refractors, so you don't get this much light shining up. Likewise, outside is lit up much higher than usual. All the trees have a good amount of light shining up onto them. I'm not recording with the, um, the GoPro camera. I'm filming with the Sony camera because the exposure of this happens to be compensating very similar to the way it looks in the person while the ghost pro camera was not picking up the light as well it's like blinding bright over here super bright over here This might just be my eyes, let's say auto exposing, but um, it seems like it's darker over there than it is normally. But that might just because be because um, this is so blinding to have it exposed like that. Now, curiously, there's a dark spot under each light which is typically the opposite of what is seen and I guess it's being caused by that well, I guess that makes sense because the arc tube is only going to shine out to the sides not directly down now that's kind of interesting I didn't expect that but it makes sense
looks a little brighter in this picture than it does in person. The light's very shadowy. The shadows are very sharp and harsh compared to what the refractor's on. That light throws very far into the woods. Looks like we're going to have some... I think those are robins building a nest in there again this year. Last year they had um, uh, four or five eggs got laid and they all hatch and I actually got to see them fly out of the nest for the first time. I was leaving uh, to go do something in the morning and they just happened to all be jumping out from the, the nest and they were hopping around under there and then they flew away. That was kind of neat to see. Alright, so this is what it looks like without the uh, refractors on. It's, it's pretty obnoxious. The light is improperly dispersed. So I'm going to go ahead and turn everything off, let the bulbs cool down, and uh, put the shades back on, and we'll take another video. I'll try to show similar pictures. I never remember seeing shadows like this. I put all the refractors back on now. So this is what it looks like with the refractors on. There's definitely less light coming in the house, but there's still a fair bit coming in. There's what this room looks like. And here's what the bedroom looks like. Okay, now we'll go outside. I'll turn off these lights. Well, that door. You know, it's really not all that much different. It. I'm wondering if it just seemed so much brighter initially when I first took the lenses off simply because they were so dirty that might be what it was the lighting is definitely different um, it's not coming up quite as high it's still very bright down there but it's not blasting bright up here at the top like it was before and it's not as bright over there it's not shining into the woods as much It's much more of a, like a soft, comfortable glow as opposed to a really bright, harsh light like it was before. This is much more pleasant. You can walk down the stairs here and guess this is bright, but even if you're looking directly at it, it's not that blinding and you can see even the camera is not having much trouble looking at it. So on the ground, that um, great, um, that dark spot underneath the lights is gone, and now it's a very smooth light all the way across. So that lens is actually designed very well, and it makes a huge difference. I never really thought that those refractors did a whole lot on this style of light, but it actually does. It makes the light very even. And you can see the shadows, while they do still exist, they are much softer. Yeah, it's not even blinding just to stand here and look at the ground or anything anymore. It's very, um, it's diffused. It's a soft light. You see, it's a very soft shadow doesn't have those sharp edges anymore. Now it definitely is much darker in the woods I guess. But I do think it's a little brighter over there now. I think that the, the light is, is a much smoother gradient on the ground which is exactly what the refractor is supposed to do. Take the light and shine it on the ground where it's supposed to go.
a very smooth and even light throughout the yard here. Much nicer with the refractors refracting. So that's interesting. I really didn't think that these lenses were anything special, but and you can see that they do have uh, different patterns on them. And inherently all those lines and optics really do make a significant difference. You can tell even just from up here, it's a much more pleasant, softer and diffused lighting effect with the refractors on. It's not shining over into the woods or to the neighboring properties as much. It is definitely brighter. Those lenses were very dirty and it was definitely impacting fairly substantially how much light they were putting out.